Hi. Yes. Hi. So Catherine and Mo, I just wanted to say thank you so much for taking time to chat with us today. Um, I know. So season two returns. Gosh, is it next week? The 22nd? I feel like I can't believe it's almost the holiday already. It's crazy. Um, (laughs) Season one is crazy I we, we just watched it for this um and I have to say I like I didn't really know what to expect um you know sort of reading the previews you're it, it's not it's not what I expected at all reading the description in the previews it's such a good uh, such a good show and it's so intense right and so um you know we're I'm I'm very excited to see what happens um both to you Catherine and to um John's character yeah. so you know, Catherine, we kind of learn at the end of season one, your motives for joining the crew of the Polaris are not exactly as forthcoming as they seem at the very beginning of this series. Um, you know, Maggie is uh, definitely not who she purports to be, or should we call her Olivia? Um, <laughs> and so can you talk a little bit about um what we can expect from Olivia in the second season yeah I mean it's it's so true because I felt like I was coming into this second series with an entirely new character um and (laughs) had to kind of like I had an idea whilst filming season one of like what she really Mm -hmm. was like but I felt like I had to go a bit deeper with that sort of understand her history understand what the experiences of season one would do to a person but um, in season two, she's also different because she's not in control. Her plan, which was very carefully thought out, begins to unravel. And um, so I think we meet not only like the real her, but also a sort of more, a frantic version of her where she's no longer in control. And it was such a um, treat to kind of have that challenge as an actor to, yeah, go a bit deeper and darker with her and find someone that you could actually believe could do these awful things. So, so yeah. Mo, you're joining the cast this season. Can you tell us a little bit about your character and kind of what we can expect from him this season? Sure, yeah. It was was a pleasure because it's the element of surprise that I wasn't involved in the season. So it's coming in fresh. But Alec Kurtz is uh, in charge of the security of the ship that the mission is set on. And it's a scientific research station, this time not in the Antarctic, but on a moving ship, a real-life ship. And I suppose his job is to make sure that no heads are chopped off, but that's easier said than done, you know. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, I was a fan of season one, and I watched season one this time last year, and I was really taken with the work that Catherine had done and what John had done, and just to build on the strengths of season one and to work with a whole entirely new cast, but yet be part of this this world which, which they've created. And... Um, it's full of surprises, just like season one is. Season two is like it, it pushes, pushes the boat out, but pushes it in, in ways no one can see coming, you know. So, yeah, it's a, it's a joy. You kind of joked about, um, you know, heads, you know, being <laughs> chopped off. And oh, yeah. I will say that was such a crazy moment. And just is it like the first episode or the second episode when we see Miles outside? I was like, oh, my gosh, like, I mean you know, you expect he's not alive when they find him. But when you actually see what's happened, you were like, oh, oh, this is intense. Like, this is crazy. And so speaking to that intensity a little bit, how did you guys approach um, kind of turning up that intensity and, 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 you know, suspense from the first season? Because it's a little, and it's a little crazy. And, you know, like, like you said, Catherine, your character goes from, you know, seemingly just this sort of you know nice young doctor who joins the crew to this sort of darker you know crazy complex character yeah i think there's a few elements that kind of up the tension like um firstly like the way the story's told in season one it's all through flashbacks and through one or two people's perspectives whereas that's different in season two so you kind of um hear it not just from two people, but from several people's perspectives. And so like the who to believe uh, is even more like uh, mysterious and goes a bit deeper. There's also um, the presence of like the new location, which I think is 
brings like a huge intensity to it. And yeah. Really shit. Um, yeah, I don't know what you think. Well, again, it's just to maintain that in, intrigue, you know. And what what I was really taken by was the inspirations of, say, John Carpenter's The Thing or Agatha Christie or, or you know, it's murder mysteries are, are back all the rage now with Knives Out and that. But it's something really original, what Jorge did with, with the team from season one. And just wanted to keep the element of surprise going. And... Uh, it goes into so many strange directions because in light of the reveal at the end of season one, you know, and how Catherine played it and how John played it. And not speaking for John, but Arthur is such a different character now in season two. Mm -hmm. So it, it starts off in a way different place and you're in such a different place as well. So, yeah, yeah, I... I just love the way the one t their use of one takes. I, I love shooting in one takes, and there's a lot of that in season one, and there's so much of that in season two, and the collaborative nature of the the ensemble, you know. So there's a lot of freedom and play because of Jorge's direction. That was a big strength from, from season one. And one thing which I really noticed when I watched it, which I I'd known obviously, but watching it made it really present, was in season one all the characters know each other. And they have a history and they know each other's secrets and they it's it's hard to hide things. Whereas in season two, most of these characters don't know each other at all. So there's much more scope to uh, pretend to be someone else or to uh, work to be the most likable, the least likely person to have done these things. There's much more room for deception when you don't know each other. And I really felt that that, that added the intensity of it. Yeah. Lot, absolutely no absolutely and everybody as well as that everybody has their for the mission they're all divided into different teams so there's the scientific crew there's the the ship crew there's the uh, engine crew and then security and john and and, and and maggie and you just don't know where you stand at any given time and i love that i love playing that you know it's fun it's a lot of fun to shoot as well like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. So you the location shifts for this season, did that present any new challenges for you, Catherine, like kind of adjusting to the ship atmosphere or was it better because it's not quite as cold? <laughs> you know what? It, season one was so sweaty because we filmed it in Tenerife that, uh, <laughs> that it was just great to not be wearing the Antarctic clothes in terms of temperature. Um, <laughs> but no, the ship was pretty amazing because most of most of one we filmed in a studio and there was some studio work for this one but this ship um it's just like next level it's um it's so daunting like it's a huge beast and then it can't you can't help but it it, it informs your performance no matter how much you maybe try and pretend you're not there because it's like the smells the sounds the movement of the ship like it's so present. It feels like another character in the series. Big time, big time. What do you think? But the prospect of, when I heard it was cast in the head, the prospect of, of pretending you're in the Antarctic and wearing ice cold water bottles in, in under your jacket, that wasn't that appealing because I, I, I get very hot very quickly. But uh, being on a real life moving ship in the middle of the ocean, that was really exciting. It's something that the show shows its versatility as well. It's, Tenerife was an amazing location. Mm. I mean, out with acting, it's such so cool to get to go on one of those ships. Like you'd never um, in everyday life get to go on a set like that. So yeah, yeah. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, and a whole new team. You know, actors from all around the world, French, Scandinavian, Japanese, just like season one, but like at the top of their game. So they they bring a lot this season. Yeah. Are there any big surprises or moments um, that you guys are especially looking forward to the audience seeing in this season? Yes, but I don't know if I can say it. Uh, <laughs> but you can't tell us. Spoilers, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Any non-spoilery ones? Or like, this is the episode that is going to blow everybody's mind. Do you know, the slow build of what everybody's looking for is the, the continuation of Arthur and Maggie's relationship or their, their arc, you know, that's happening all behind the scenes and there are a lot of surprises there. You know, it's all happening while the mission is happening. Your role. 
Okay. There's one woman in uh, <laughs> in episode one, which, which so maybe less of a spoiler, but um, there's a there's a court scene, and that's maybe the beginning of the un- unraveling of Maggie's plan. And I think that's when it gets exciting for the characters because what seemed so set in stone falls away from their control, and I think that's really satisfying and opens itself up to the story. So, even reading the scripts, I always wanted to know what happens next, you know, and a lot of people want to know, fans of the show want to, want to see what happens with Maggie and Arthur. So I was riveted, you know, of the six episodes of season two, it really has a, a good continuation of that. That's great. Well, hopefully, Mo, your character makes it to the end and doesn't end up headless. Yes, <laughs> hopefully, I know. <laughs> Fingers crossed for you. And we thank you both so much for this. This was great. We look forward to seeing the rest of the episodes. And I'm sure the fans are also equally excited about it. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, good job, good job. Yes. Thank, thank you. you so much.